146 min cost climbing stairs my solution with explanation you're given an integer array cost where cost i is the cost of the ith step on a staircase once you pay the cost you can either climb one or two steps you can either start from the step with index zero or the step with index one return the minimum cost to reach the top of the floor well, that's not a really good explanation the top of the floor what does that even mean what they want is how much does it cost to iterate through the array what's the minimum cost going through each step we have the cost of each step but to get through that step we have to add the cost to get to that step now there are some hints in here but uh, these did not help me at all you're looping from n minus 1 to 0 let me start out here build an array DP what does DP mean I don't know where DPI is the minimum cost to climb to the top starting from the ith staircase um, so this was not very helpful these hints were unhelpful to me uh, they were about as intuitive as as reaching the top of the floor always read the problem carefully read the examples carefully read the constraints carefully and what I did was I went right to the solutions and I read other people's solutions to try to figure out uh, what leak code was talking about here and what they wanted and this was one of the better explained examples we can see many votes up always pick one with a lot of votes up that means that the elite code didn't completely botch the example explanation which they usually do their explanations are a lot of times not very good they tend to be precise in their language but sometimes it's weird uh, reaching the top of the floor what does that even mean all right so we're given an injury of cost we have to get get the cost of each step we have to calculate the cost of getting through that step we can start from zero or one in that array example one uh, cost is 10 15 and 20 what's the minimum cost starting at index zero or one skipping one or two steps going one or two steps per each uh, each step uh, so we could start at 10 uh, well we already know the output is 15 because why we start at 15 uh, which is index 1 where we can start from index 1 and we can skip index 2 uh, and we can go to the, the end of the array we can complete the array so now we've we've completed the array uh, with a cost of 15 start at index 1 pay 15 and climb two steps to reach the top it means iterate through the array the total cost is 15 right and so the way I calculate this is to look at the end of the array and figure out what's the minimum cost to get through each step is the minimum cost to get through step 20 less than the minimum cost to get through step 15 to get through a step means to include the cost of that step and the cost to get to that step so what's the cost to get through 20 well the cost of to get through 20 is 20 plus how much does it cost to get there it costs the minimum between 10 and 15 the previous two steps the minimum between the previous two steps happens to be 10 and 15 because that's where we can start from so we have 20 plus 15 or 20 plus 10 obviously 20 plus 10 is cheaper the cost to get through step 2 at index 2 is 30 minimum cost is 30 whereas if we were to take the second of the last one which is our answer we know that by looking at it um, that's 15 plus well we can start at 15 so that's the answer right there so we have to start from the kind of the back and we have to almost think backwards and I thought through this iteratively forwards but also backwards so we look at the current step and how much did it cost to get there and we start with populating the array with the first two uh, and given the constraints of this um, each index can be 999 and we can have a thousand of those so if we're adding these into a cost array uh, we have to factor that into, into how, how much uh, the, the size of each number um, and we could have just used an array here but I used a, a uint32 array I have renamed uh, cost the array that they provide to us as steps and I got rid of the comment because the comment doesn't explain 
anything about why the code was doing it. They, they put these comments above the code, explain what the variable names are. And well, I don't do that because code comments explain why the code does what it does, uh, not what it does. Not we have a variable named steps and then declare the variable. That's obvious. That's just creates extra noise in the co in the code. Explain why the code does what it does when it's confusing when it's weird explain why it's doing that confusing weird stuff when it's hard to understand and better yet Make it less hard to understand make it easier to understand so that it's clear to you or anyone else who reads the code anytime in the future uh, when, when other other uh, Confounding factors may make uh, figuring out what the hell's going on confusing like you've got a bunch of other stuff going on Okay, so I uh, start out with um, the cost array is going to be the same length as the steps array and I use land as a variable for convenience uh, We pre-populate the first two steps uh, Of the cost array the first two indices with steps zero and steps one and then we start our loop at index two we're going to calculate the minimum cost to get through each step and that's tallied in our cost array. And then we're going to return the minimum cost between the second to last step and the last step. This is len minus two and len minus one. So I've, I've written out each value of i in this table, the value of steps for our example code here, and then we're going to calculate what goes into the cost array based on that information and our code here. So when i is 0, it's 1, and when i is 1, it's 100, because respectively, step 0 and steps 1 are pre-populating the array, and we're starting the loop at index 2. So this is where we're going to start our loop, index 2. And index 2, we're going to calculate the cost of steps i plus the minimum between the cost array i minus one and the cost array i minus two. How much did it take to get to that step? And how much does it cost for that step? Calculates the cost to get through that step. We need to know. So that is steps i is one, plus the cost to get to that step is, we can look back, minus one, minus two. i minus two is zero, uh, that's one. One is obviously less than 100, so i plus our index one plus one is obviously two uh, at that step. The cost to get through step two is one, one plus one, two. Increment i by one, i is now three. Steps three is one. We're gonna add one, steps three, plus the previous one is two, two is less than 100, so in this case, I minus cost rate I minus one is less than cost rate I minus two. So we're gonna choose a cost rate I minus one, one plus two is three. Increment I, I is now four. Steps four is one. And we're gonna go look back one step, and then we're gonna look back two steps and choose the minimum. Looking back one step is three. Looking back two steps is two. We're gonna choose looking back two steps is I, uh, one plus two is three. Okay, so cost array four is three. Increment i. Uh, I plus um, steps i is 100. Uh, 100 plus three is uh, four. And the reason we got three is that it, it could be either i minus one or i minus two, and they're both three. So the cost rate at I minus one, cost rate I minus two is, is three. They're both three. Uh, okay, so steps five, so it's an increment I. I is now six. Uh, step six is one. One plus, we can choose the previous step, is 103 or three. So one plus three is four. Steps increment I, seven. Step seven is one. And we're gonna choose either four or 103. We obviously choose four, the previous step, of our, the previous cost of the cost array. Cost array index six is four, so one plus four is five. Increment i, i is now eight. Uh, steps eight is 100, and we're almost done. Um, 100 plus our previous step is five, or the previous previous step of cost array is four. So we're gonna choose 100 plus four. Uh, increment i, uh, i is nine, steps nine is one. 1 plus uh, previous index of cost array, i minus 1 is 104, or 
uh, cost array I minus 2 is 5. 104 is more than 5, so we're going to choose 5. So 1 plus 5. So now we're going to return the cost of getting through the last step uh, or the, the cost of getting through the second to last step. 